Hey again guys, uh, just a quick touch up to the um, search engine. Uh, it's really bothering me that we're getting multiple results or duplicate results here. Uh, if I search on Quick Fox, for example, it searches on Quick and finds Quick in those two records. Then it does a search on Fox and it finds them in the same two records but displays them. So what we're going to do in this video is find a way of eliminating duplicates. Now um, before we do it, I just want a bit more data to help me test. So what I suggest you do is go to the add text page and just add in a few things like um, I'm going to put hello fox and I should really put some links on these pages. Um, goodbye fox. Just so we've got a bit more with the word fox in there. And one last one, I'm just going to say um, oh, brown cow. Oops. All right, so our database should now have a few more elements in it. So if I just browse here on my text table, uh, we now have five elements in there. We've got the two quick brown foxes, and then we've got some others. So you can see if we search on the word fox, it should return one, two, three, four results. Uh, on brown, it should return three. So if I go fox, there are the four. If I go brown, there are the three. If I do brown fox it brings one because remember these two because it's just matching the whole brown fox um, so what we're going to do now that we've got a bit more data is we're going to find a way of eliminating these duplicates here which is it just makes our results look very messy so in our code here I'm on my search results page uh, I'm going to create see we are in the else loop here I'm actually just going to create an array and that array is going to contain the ID of the result that comes back so I'm just going to set up that result array in fact I'll call it result array and it's an array so that will be empty to start and then as it goes through and it runs the query down here in our do while loop uh, before we display the result we actually want to check and see has that result already been displayed so we're going to run a quick if statement and what we're going to check and see is if something is not in the result array so that's the exclamation mark in underscore array so that means if it's not in this array and there are two parameters there the first thing is what we're checking which from our record set there is the text id and then the second parameter is the name of the array we're checking against which we call result array so this should say if uh, as we loop through our, res our result set here, uh, it should check that the text ID each time does it already exist in the result array. Now, if it doesn't already exist in there, what we're going to do is, oh, let me think, we're going to push it into the array. And the array we're going to put it into, there are two parameters here, is there's the name of the uh, array. And the second thing to be pushed into there is the actual data itself. And so we're going to put in that text ID. Okay. Now, at the end of that if statement, obviously, we want the rest of the stuff to happen. So if it's not in that array, it means we haven't already displayed it. So let's display it. So I'm just going to cut that, um, that closed curly brace there. And what I want to do is actually just put that down here, right there. And um, I think a little bit of formatting is necessary here to get this all making a bit more sense. So I'm just going to bring all these in line. That goes in an extra one. Get all this in line here so I know that it's inside this if statement here. Then this while loop is finishing off, or the while is finishing off the do while there. And then I think that all behaves from there. Well, we'll find out. We'll save that and test it. So we're searching on Quick Fox. Oh, fantastic. And you see, no no duplicates. They only appear the once. But it's also picked up Hello Fox and Goodbye Fox, which is great. So again, just to quickly recap what just happens there. Uh, the word, because we've got two words in here, our search engine automatically searches through for exact matches of Quick Fox, or because we're using um, the phonetic stuff, Quick Fox, or anything that sounds like that. If it found, finds an exact match, it will display that. So we know quick brown is in there. So if I search on quick brown, 
it returns the results that have that exact match somewhere in them. If, however, there isn't an exact match, like quick fox, for example, it is exploding those two words into two separate items and then searching on both of them. And so it's gone through and found where quick exists, and it, you can see it found those two. Then it goes through and finds where the word fox exists. Now, it appears in these two, but because they've already been displayed now, it no longer feels the need to. So then it keeps going through and it finds all the other records with fox in them and displays those. So there you have it. We now have our search engine, which operates using phonetic spelling. Uh, it looks for exact matches as well, and it also um, can explode multiple criteria like that, and it eliminates duplicate results.